Hey guys, and welcome back to Live Laugh Birds, where we live and laugh with birds. I don't know why, but for some reason the birds just don't want to be in the video today. Ducky, come. Good bird. <laughs> Hi, Bluebell. Hi, Violet. Thank you guys for coming. So today's video is going to be reacting to your birdcage setups, part two. You guys all loved the first one so much and I'm definitely gonna be doing more than two of these. So I am really excited to get into these cages. Let's see what you guys submitted for me. All right, so the first cage is for an adorable little cockatiel named Kiwi, so cute. And it says here that the cage size is 20.5 by 16.5 by 33.5 inches. Now in terms of the size, it really depends on how long your bird is gonna be spending inside the cage. If you go to school or work, obviously not now, this is quarantine, but if you go to school or work normally, then I would say that you should get a bigger cage. So I really, really like this three drawer foraging toy that you have inside the cage. Kermit, he has that toy and he absolutely loves it. And foraging toys are just great in general because they help mimic natural behavior. Parrots spend so much time in the wild foraging that it can really help enrich their lives if you have foraging toys. So that is a really great toy. You've also got this nice colorful star toy with finger traps and the classic bird kebab. So both of those are really, really great toys. And you've also got natural wood perches, which is great for your bird's feet. So I'd say this setup is pretty good. The birds back there, they show how important toys are for parrots. Like, you need to have toys in order for your bird to live a happy life. They need things to do inside their cage. So the next cage is for this little love bird, so cute. This cage is really nice. I really like the size of the cage. It's a really good size for this love bird. And you've got natural perches and a rope perch, so great job with that. And in terms of toys, I like the two toys that you have in there, but maybe I would add some more different types of toys at different levels of the cage. I would want the bird to explore the entire cage, so I would hang some more toys from the sides of the cage so your bird can explore the lower levels where those lower perches are. So this next setup is another lovebird setup, and this is a preview flight cage, so it's a really nice size cage. But I do see a happy hut back there. Now, happy huts can be very dangerous for birds. I've said this a lot, and birds can chew on the fibers. They can make loose threads and then get caught in those threads. They can tangle themselves up in there. Or another problem with these huts is they can swallow these threads and it gets lodged inside them because of the fuzzy material these huts are made out of. It causes an impaction. So it's really dangerous if you keep it in there, even if your bird doesn't chew on them because it can make your bird hormonal. In the wild, parrots will nest in tree hollows. So anything dark, any kind of corner that they can go into, it's a nest. And that can cause aggressive behavior. If your bird's a female, they can lay eggs in it. So take it out of your cage. You've done a great job adding plenty of toys in there so your bird's got lots of things to do while he's inside the cage. I'd say that there are too many dowels in this cage, even if you've got rope perches, just because if your bird sits on the dowel perches most of the time, then it can cause pressure sores and bubble foot over time. So I would take out the dowels and add natural wood perches. Um, natural wood perches are gonna be the best because they have so much variation in texture and there's so many different types. Some of them have bark for your bird to chew on. But I would also take out those kind of water tube feeders and replace them with stainless steel bowls just because plastic tubes, they can collect bacteria much faster and increase the likelihood of your bird getting sick. It doesn't mean that your bird is going to get sick from them. I would just prefer something like stainless steel which is gonna be cleaner. All right, so the next cage is for two cute little budgies and it says the dimensions are 18 by 14 by 24 inches. Now, I don't know how long your birds are spending inside of this cage, but I personally would recommend a larger cage for these budgies. The minimum for one budgie is usually considered 18 by 18 inches width and length, but since you have two budgies, I think that you should get a cage more like 24 inches wide. So there is a dowel, but it says that the dowel was kind of scraped with a knife to give it more texture, which is a really great idea. So guys, if you have dowel perches that you still want to use, just scrape it with a knife and that'll give it more texture so it's not so slippery and smooth. 
There's also these three sort of concrete nail trimming perches. Now I would only recommend keeping one of those in your cage. Just because you don't want your bird standing on a rough surface all the time, it's kind of like you walking on sandpaper. Now it's okay to have them on one of these perches near a water dish or something where they're not gonna stand on it for a long time. But there's also no other natural perches in this cage, so I would definitely replace two of those with natural wood perches. In terms of the toys, it says that you switch them up every week, which is great because you don't want your birds to get bored of the same toys. I really like that kind of finger trap toy with the paper on the bottom. That's just a great shredding toy, as well as this twine ball toy here because birds love picking those apart. Now I would add a few more toys in the cage to give them more stuff to do, but you know, if you get a bigger cage, then you're definitely gonna be able to fit more toys and more enrichment. Like I said before, I'm also not a huge fan of these kind of plastic watering tubes, just because they can grow bacteria pretty fast, and I would recommend stainless steel bowls instead. So this next cage is for two cockatiels. Now it says here that I know this cage is technically small, but they're not really the active type, so they don't play with toys or move around even outside their cage. So a bigger cage is a waste of money and space. Now, I don't really agree with this. I still think the cage is too small. I mean, Ducky is a chill bird too. Cockatiels tend to be, but they still need space for like different perches so they can perch on different surfaces. Even if they're not gonna be flying inside their cage, Ducky doesn't really fly that much inside her cage, but she sits on all the different perches. She goes up, she goes down. So I just think that it's important that you have an appropriate sized cage, even if your bird is not the super playful type. As far as your birds not playing with toys, I only see one toy in this cage and it's like a plastic ball toy. And cockatiels, they really need things to shred. Like Ducky, she would not play with that plastic ball toy either. So I'd really recommend putting more toys in there because they need stuff to do. They need things to keep them occupied. Ducky, she would not touch that toy that's in there. You need to try different types of toys and discover what your bird likes. I know not all birds play with toys, but at least give them a try. I definitely wouldn't have a cage like that on the ground just because birds in the wild, if you think about it, they sit on the tops of trees and that's how they feel safe from predators. So if you put a bird on the ground, they're gonna feel more vulnerable if they don't have the option of being up higher. So I definitely put that cage on a table if you have to use this kind of cage. I mean, ideally you have a cage like this that stands, but if you have to keep that cage, then put it on a table so they feel more secure. So the next cage is for a cute little blue budgie. Now, personally, I would get a bigger cage. I understand that not everyone can afford a flight cage, but for a budgie, I just really think they're very active birds. They like to fly a lot, so having a flight cage gives them that opportunity. And these kind of little tabletop cages, I see them so much, but I just don't feel like they provide enough space for a budgie to fly. I just see these cages and they're so standard in the budgie world and so many pet stores recommend these cages, but I really think that a flight cage should be standard for budgies. There's two toys in here. I would definitely recommend having more toys in the cage to give your bird more things to do and more things to shred. There's also two dowel perches, a rope perch, and some kind of mineral or concrete perch. Now, I would definitely add natural wood perches in there. Like, you need natural wood perches. So many people don't have them in their cage. It looks like this food bowl is full of only seeds. Now, seeds are not healthy as their main diet. You need to be feeding them a good quality organic pellet with lots of vegetables every single day. And the seeds should be more of a treat or something you give them at night only, but not free fed in the cage throughout the day. Who is such a good bird? This is Kermy Bird. You're such a good bird. So this is another cage for a budgie. And this looks like a really, really nice cage. This is a flight cage, perfect size. This is exactly what is ideal for a budgie. And this is what I feel a budgie needs in terms of space. I really like all the toys you have in there. You've got so much enrichment. 
There is a platform perch and I really like those because they can rest your bird's feet so that your bird doesn't have to grip a perch all the time. I really like that you've got lots of natural wood perches in there, of course, and I really like this cool kind of wood hanging thing. I don't know what to call it, but it's got like the multiple perches sticking out of it. That's a really cool toy perch thing. Overall, this cage looks amazing. You've done a great job. This should be the standard for budgies, and I just, I love this setup. So the next cage is for a green cheek conure. So cute. It's a good size cage. I like the natural wood perches in there, of course. And I really like how you have this rope perch on the outside of the cage. Like my birds love sitting just outside the cage and they like having those U-shaped rope perches. You've got two toys in there and I really like that kind of ring toy with the blocks. But you know, I, I'm always gonna recommend more than two toys because owning a bird, it's all about variety. So I would recommend adding more toys in there, different types, maybe a paper-based toy to see if your bird likes to shred paper. You've got one of those honey treat sticks with like a lot of seeds and sunflower seeds on it. Definitely take that out because that's just junk food for them. It provides no nutrition, it's just not good for them. And it even says that you want to gain your bird's trust. The way you gain your bird's trust is using seeds as treats because if you keep that inside of your cage, then your bird is going to eat those seeds and there's no reason for the seeds to be rewarding outside of the cage. So take that treat stick out, it's just plain junk. So the next cage is for a budgie. Now the first thing that I notice is that it says, I only feed a millet because that's what the person at the pet store said. So you only bought millet. Don't listen to what people at the pet store say. I know this isn't related to the cage setup, but like the pet store people don't know anything. Millet is like a treat. They should only be getting millet for training and for outside the cage. If you only feed your bird millet, your bird is gonna get fatty liver disease and have a much shorter lifespan. So please, please do your research on diet before getting a bird and don't listen to what a random pet store employee says. You know, the birds are the ones that suffer because people don't know better. Now onto the cage. This is a really common cage. It's like a tall and narrow cage. In reality, birds fly from side to side and a lot of times they don't go to the bottom of the cage so the height is wasted. So that's why you wanna pick a wider cage rather than a taller cage. I see a mirror in this cage. Now, a lot of birds really like mirrors, but in reality, they can kind of become obsessed with them, and the mirrors can make birds hormonal. If you notice your bird becoming aggressive when you touch the mirror, or not leaving the mirror, kind of staring at the mirror for a long time, I would definitely take the mirror out of the cage. Definitely add more toys in there. I only see one toy. Birds need to chew, they need things to shred, and it's easy to make your own DIY toys, so definitely add more shredding toys. As far as perches, I really like the platform perch, and you've got one natural wood perch, but there's also three dowels, so I think three dowels is a lot, especially because there's not a lot of other perches, so I would take out all the dowels and replace them with either a rope perch or a natural wood perch. There's also two of these kind of honey treats with like the seeds, they're all stuck together. This one's in like a bell shape. Like, those are junk food. They're, they're not nutritious. Like, it's just sugar. And seeds in the wild aren't stuck together. Like, seeds, they shouldn't be stuck together. So, definitely take those out. Uh, change your bird's diet. Basically, birds need a varied diet of vegetables and pellets and seeds as treats. Oh my god, are people trying to like irritate me purposefully? Because this cage says this is the biggest cage in the world. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm not even gonna give advice for this one. This one is, it's a joke. It's literally trying to get me. So this next cage is for this cute little fluff ball named Danny. Just an adorable, adorable cockatiel. It's so cute, so fluffy. This is a really, really nice setup. I really like this setup. I really like your perch choices. You've got lots of natural wood perches. I really like the platform perch as well. 
and the toys in there are really good too. Those are great shredding toys. My birds absolutely love those kind of natural toys made out of corn husks. They love shredding those. Really nice setup, just overall. You've got this wooden bridge with the ropes. My birds also really like those as well. You've got a ladder to climb and the classic bird kebab, which can never go wrong. Overall, this is a really, really great setup. I don't see anything to change in here. All right, guys, so this is going to be the last cage of today's video. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with this. This is not even a cage. This is an indoor aviary. This is like incredible. I mean, this is, can I have it for my birds? I just love this entire thing. Like that giant tree in there, all those toys hanging off of it. Like, like this is gold. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video.